The booths were up today, but in just a few short hours, Denver's Civic Center Park will be packed for Pride Fest. And this year, top of mind will be the victims of the Orlando Club shooting and safety during this celebration. Denver 7's Adam Hammond joins us from Civic Center Park with a look at security surrounding Pride Fest. Adam? Well, the people putting the festival together tell me they already had a very thorough security plan in place before the Orlando attack, but since then they've been working very closely with Denver police officers and also private security. There's even a fence already up all the way around here, and you can't get in or out tonight unless you're here working, putting on the final touches like many people are here. Now, people I spoke with here say they don't want everything to be about security and being scared down here this weekend. They also want it to be about standing up for those victims lost in Orlando. Big black box, which is where we're, our country kind of is right now. This memorial for the 49 innocent people killed in an Orlando nightclub now sits in the center of Civic Center Park. We talked Tuesday night and just I saw a list of the names and it was just like, uh, you know, we got to do something. Artist Lonnie Hansen created the memorial in hopes of not only honoring those victims, but also healing the pain many in the LGBT community and across Colorado are feeling. Saturday, more than a quarter of a million people will be in this park and can begin signing the memorial. The idea that instead of being angry or hateful, that we give people color and we ask them to bring their light to this darkness and kind of uh, with messages of love. Tonight, event planners are making final security plans with law enforcement. Many people that I've talked to feel that an appropriate way to honor those people's lives is to not let ourselves be scared back into the closet. Fuller says the most important part of security is for festival goers to report anything suspicious to police. We're all being vigilant. We're all doing the right things, but we're not, we're not struck with terror. And we're, we're not going to do that. Um, we're we're going to refuse to do that. Um, we're going to stand. The two police officers just zoomed by us on some segues right here. The gates open at 11 o'clock tomorrow, and if you want to get through security fast, make sure you don't bring any bags or coolers. And if you bring water with you or anything bottled, make sure it's not open. Reporting live from downtown Denver, I'm Adam Hammond.